What's going on everyone? Roy over here with CCNC. Kind of rainy weather today, so decided to uh, get some carbon fiber goodies installed. Um, do the radiator cover. These are all available in our store as well. And then we're also going to do the ignition coil pack covers. Um, you're going to work on Camaros, Corvettes, CTSVs, LT4s, uh, I mean, you name it. If you got any questions, definitely hit us up and ask us. Uh, they come from Carbon Fiber Composites. So Stuart is a good friend of ours, kind of always shows up to our events and whatnot. So great guy we got the ignition coils here and then we have the radiator sport here um probably gonna do a quick unboxing and lay them out so you guys can see them so with that it said let's go ahead and jump into the video hopefully this helps you for those of you guys interested in purchasing it all right i apologize normally i do these on the workbenches, but it's kind of cluttered i got a lot of stuff going on so Here's the actual ignition coils. Uh, I just broke the tape. Let's go ahead and open it up. It comes in a nice box. Um, it's a manila envelope. What's inside here? Let's check it out. Oh, we have some snacks. All right, these are actually pretty good. Sour gold bear. And then all in all, we'll have Obviously some stickers. Oh, perfect. Loctite. All the hardware. And a thank you note. Uh, thank you for choosing X Carbon Fiber Composites for your premier source of carbon fiber composite products. Here at X Carbon Fiber Composite Co. Every one of our products receives a worldwide exclusive white glove treatment. And it is inspected by the most crucially particular Crucial particular people we could find. Afterwards, we work hard to make sure your product is neatly and safely packaged in, to, its, to endure its journey to you. We hope you enjoy your new X Carbon Fiber products as much as us. We can't wait to have you back. Um, I would say that this holds true. Um, right when we open this guy, they are very well packaged, as you can see. So, here for a second um, very nice wrap comes with hardware comes with everything all organized these are going to be good when we're done working on the car my stickers and then I'm just going to unbox one I really don't want to uh, open up both of them until I'm ready to go I still have to do some prep work and cleaning but overall it's it's a really nice solid piece um, just for carbon uh, direct replacement. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that very well. The inside and out definitely adds a lot of appearance um, for those guys going to car shows and stuff and you want that extra edge. Uh, I think this is really cool. Um, it's really nice. So both of them it comes in a set, um, driver and passenger side. And then, yeah, so really nice piece. Next item on the list is the radiator cover and uh, this one is going to actually go replace this piece here. So the ignition coils covers will replace, you know, passenger and driver side. And then the radiator support cover would replace here. So that's what this guy is in this box. Let's go ahead and uh, take a peep, take a stab at that. Right off the bat, we pull the box out. Yep. Again, very well packaged. A bubble wrap. Same envelope with stickers and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and open that up. Two for two. They're the gold bears. Those things are legit. Same. So this one's a little bit more uh, challenging, obviously. So we're going to have the same stickers as in the other one. We're going to have the same thank you note. Um, this one actually includes the install guide. So we're going to have the install guide for 
And I like that they're in color, and it's really a kind of detail to tell you like, hey, what to remove, what not. Just be careful, gives you some warnings. Make sure you read those. Uh, we are dealing with carbon fiber parts, so if you actually over tighten some screws or something, there's a chance that you can break them. So yeah, really cool, really nice feature. It tells you what tools you need right off the bat. Uh, it tells you exactly everything to do. So straightforward install. My recommendation, as with everything else that you're going to do when you're ma doing maintenance on your car, is before you get to installing it, go ahead and familiarize yourself with the instructions. So read them thoroughly, carefully. The warnings are very important. So do that first, and then you can go ahead and go in and install it. So. We'll get to that in a second. Um, let's go ahead and unbox it so you guys can see what it looks like. Well, we already unboxed it. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. I have a knife somewhere here. One second. So again, very nice quality, very nice carbon. Um, I don't know if the camera will show, will highlight some of the details on here, but it's it's really clean. It's a very nice piece. It's definitely gonna add that extra oomph that shows. Um, very nice. So I really like it. Um, carbon fiber is starting to grow on me. I really like the uh, traditional and, and so far forged carbon. Eh. That's just my personal kind of thing. It's okay. I'm just not used to it yet. So, so yeah, very nice piece. Very nice, solid. It comes with all the hardware. It comes with pretty much everything you need. And then that's, of course, going to be in the bag. Uh, this should be a one-for-one -one replacement. So, And then what I mean by one-for-one -one is we should be able to just kind of take off whatever is already on the car and then put it on here. As you can see, there's already some threaded holes in here, so that's a good thing, a good plus on these guys. I should be like literally remove, install, be done with it. So I'm probably gonna save this guy for last because I have to be leaning over the car to do my uh, ignition coil pack. So we'll knock these guys out first and then we'll come over here and then I'll give you a kind of quick visual of everything. And if you guys have any questions and stuff, you can definitely kind of reach out to us. We have these on our site, they're all available. And we can go from there, hopefully this helps. All right, so for the ignition coils, it's a pretty straightforward process, right? So we're going to remove the engine oil cap, and then the, we're going to need Torx tips. So Torx T30s is what we're going to need. And we actually have one right there. And the other one is right there. So I already have mine laid out, T30 Torx tips. And then we're going to have to remove this guy, this line here. And for the opposite side, it's pretty much the same thing. A Torx 30, another Torx 30, and then remove this uh, PCV. So probably from here, from here, whichever is easier. So we'll get to that right now. All right, one thing to know is once I get these, these are actually, uh, they don't come out, so they just stay in place are locked in place um, got the oil cover off for me I think it's much easier to do it from here so what I basically did is I followed the line and I just disconnected it from here so these tabs are fairly simple to do you're just gonna squeeze those gray clips and pull them up so, uh, this one's kind of already off but I basically yeah squeeze the gray clips pull it up and then the rest is just unclipping it so. All right, I got it off. As I mentioned before, here's the line here. Very easy. Everything's kind of exposed now. We just swapped the new one. Um, I'm going to pull this grommet off that it's in here. So this rubber piece, kind of just pull it off just in case I need it. All right, so here is the new piece. This grommet it looks like it needs to be put back. So I'm actually going to set it back in its spot and then route the line. Uh, the hardware comes with blue Loctite, so we'll just replace the, the uh, we'll use it on these guys here. 
and should be good to go. But you just be mindful when you tighten them. This is carbon fiber. Don't, I mean, I'm going to use this, but I'm going to exercise extreme caution just because I know what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, let's not kind of wrench these downs. Uh, just kind of get them snug on there and you're good to go. All right. Um, I got the new grommet transferred over to the carbon fiber part. I got the uh, PCV line routed up. Uh, you have to be very mindful. This is a tight fit, so I would kind of gently work my way um, on the back side and then I'll get the forward side uh, installed. Once that's set in place, we have the replacement hardware that comes with the kit, right? And it's got a uh, threaded, as you can see, it's got blue Loctite. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's in the back, it's a small blue bag. Uh, go ahead and put them on two threads, uh, sorry, on, on two of the hardware and just install it. Again, we need to be mindful. This is carbon fiber, so we don't want to like cram them down. Let's just get them snug and we're good to go. All right, so I have the side mocked up. I ended up taking it taking the, it off from this side. Once it was already off, it was easy to do, only because I was trying to exercise extreme caution when putting the new part in here. So I figured I'd just take it off, kind of gradually set it in place and go from there. It's really easy to do. Um, the grommet is on there. As you can see, I've locked tight some of the threads and the bolts, and then we'll just put them back in place and, and snap everything back and move to the next side. So let's do that. All right, it's been installed. Uh, sorry, I forgot. It's a 530 seconds hex tip for the new bolts. So they're not T30s, they're just hex tips, and that size is gonna be 530 seconds. So but yeah, that side's good to go. All I really have to do now is just plug this guy back in here and then put the cap on. So I'll do that right now. All right, so for the passenger side, It'd be good to unclip these guys, the wiring harness bundle here, here, and the one down here, only because this is a tighter fit and it's gonna be hard to scratch. It, I mean, you're gonna be able to scratch it like I just did down there. To remove those, to get the harness out of the way, gives you a little bit more flexibility to get this one out and get this one in. All right, so when I got the other one off, the stock one off, it's just like the other side. One thing to note is you wanna remove these guys, as I said earlier these clips here I go ahead went ahead and disconnected the actual coil packs just so I can lift this harness all the way up because this is carbon fiber and it's a very very tight fit so just exercise extreme extreme caution when you guys do that so I'm gonna do that now all right so I got the uh, passenger side on um, it was kind of a challenge because of the, uh, the, the strut brace right here, this whole brace assembly. Um, so what I did is I ended up wrapping it with this material. Uh, I actually had Lynn come by and help me. Um, my hands were just too big. I, I need to reach, needed to reach back there, pull the bottom tab out, and then kind of slide it in place, all while being careful with here. And then these guys right here. So it's in place, it's buttoned up. Now I can go ahead and uh, I remember I loosened this harness up so I can plug everything back up and we'll be good to go. Connect this P PCV line and we're cherry. And then we'll do the uh, rad cover. All right, got everything removed. This is what the final assembly looks like. Again, I think it's overall it gives it a clean look, especially on the LT4, LT1 kind of highlights brings attention to the actual engine. It's just small subtle details or small, smaller details. Anyways, uh, we went ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, rad cover, radiator cover. And basically it's pretty straightforward. It comes with instructions. Basically all of these guys, so you're gonna need a T15 Torx tips, T30 Torx tips, a 10 mil, 13 millimeter, uh, and probably some needle nose and, and little pullers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the associated torque tips, as you can see, I already started removing those, and then get this uh, factory rad cover off. So I'll be back as soon as that's done. All right, so I got all the hardware off that I needed to. Um, next, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're actually gonna disconnect the hood latch. So just try to mark it so where it goes, that way it's easier, or tape it, whatever, however, whatever works for you. That way we can get the uh, cover off and slide the hood latch off. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, got the OEM one out. Basically, we're going to have to transfer all of these guys to the new one. 
So it's not that hard to do. Just grab some needle nose, squeeze these bottom tabs, slide them out, and transfer them over, and then set it down and put it in place. All right, I had to transfer these guys over from the old assembly to the new one. And then what I did is I just put thread locker on these guys because it's probably easier to do it that way than when you have it all in place and you're trying to do it on these bolts. It's just easier for me. You can do it however you want. I did remove the label. Uh, it just doesn't match with the uh, LT4 supercharger. Uh, it's just, I mean, it matches the color, but it was kind of just a little bit off. So it was just kind of one of those pet peeve things. Other than that, uh, yeah, it's moving forward. Just slide this back in place, put the bolts back. Should be good to go. All right, so it's all done. Um, sorry, my snap on light died and I forgot to charge the other battery. So this will do. And got the front rat support. I think overall it looks uh, very nice and clean. I just took the uh, protective cover off. Gives it that dent, that nice look. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, these items are in our store. You can always hit us up. And we can walk you through. Hopefully you find this helpful. And thanks again for tuning in. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.